Hi, it's Steve again. Uh, got a bit of an unusual one here that uh, I thought I'd film for you. So it has stopped raining, so, uh, so I thought I'd get the camera out and uh, do a little bit of filming. It's a little bit, a little bit driving to this video as well. So had a few comments, uh, if you like to watch the driving as well. So it's quite a tight little uh, um, road out of where we are. So, uh, so hopefully uh, we should be able to catch a little bit of uh, filming in the mirrors. This is a 26 ton Volvo. Uh, so it's rear steer. And so it's got air suspension all round. Uh, it's got a lot of Spanish writing uh, on this vehicle. So I take it it spent a bit of life in Spain. And uh, obviously it's disabled uh, lift into a plane. Somebody did mention it was a Airbus 380 it was designed for, apparently to lift passengers on board. So uh, not quite sure about that, I have to look into that, but that's what I was told. It's quite a big vehicle and quite quite heavy actually. So quite a lot of uh, solid framework all around. Big stabilizing legs. I've done a few little preps uh, for the recovery really, just uh, there's a lot of people going in and out this garage, so I didn't want to capture too many people on film which I'll have to delete unless I want to be on it but anyway we're going to crack on and load it and get it back to maintenance depot in uh, Heathrow so left hand drive this one as well okay let's crack on and get it loaded in right Right, we're doing the pre-lift as we always do. The handbrake's on. Going straight up on that front axle. Yeah, so I've got the um, stands out, I've got the chains out. Yeah, it's quite handy really with having uh, air suspension all around. If they're a little bit low, you can pump them up. All right. Which the front end of this uh, go up? This is yeah, this is heavy. Back's dropping down. It's in every vehicle. This is. You say it'd be a 26 ton maximum weight, but that's pretty heavy. That is. So I've got the boom out quite a long way. That's just the brakes. Um, the air suspension adjusting. And I'm lifting the front. Yeah, it's quite a weighty vehicle. This. Let's see if I can come around this side and. Uh, Show you plenty of water, so you save just a bit of rain. So we're dropping it on stands. Make sure that's well settled there. Yeah, make sure the ignition's off. Uh, the ignition's off, so hopefully the suspension chin. Uh, just itself now it's uh, back on land right okay it's a little bit thicker the axle says just pick up on there the same the other side Hopefully the rain holds up. If you say the problem is not loading it, it's uh, actually getting it out on the on the main road. So I kind of put cones and that we've been doing some building work and it looked pretty tight, so we'll see how we get on. But you say this is rear steer this vehicle, which uh, will help us in that situation, but just say it has got quite a lot of overhang which, uh, which I'll show you in a bit when we go around the back around the back there we go yeah she is heavy so the booms out quite a long way so we won't uh, travel this far out it's gonna do a little bit of stow just just stay with this uh, this far out it won't stow with the weight so just stowed it while it was off there we go that's the suspension adjusting itself you say but the handbrake is on and the ignition is off these are the airbags up here Here 
we go, that's one side. That's holding it in and stopping it sliding. If you say where the axle's gone thick to thin, it won't over slide anyway. Because once it gets to the thick bit, it won't be able to slide past it. Right. Now we do the same the other side. nuisance getting in the way. There right. we go. Right. There we go, that's the front chain down. I'll try and work this side much as I can, keeping away from everybody. Right. Yeah this is a uh, the half shaft will be removing but I just checked which uh, side to remove I've taken a plumb for the other side because I picked uh, one up similar to this a while ago and it was on uh, um, offside so we just checked for that and so this is a rear steer axle these are the legs and look at the overhang great big overhang between the steer axle and the back of the vehicle just to bear in mind for that on the turns there's a lot of a lot of length to turn there. Right, while well, we got the stands on. Let's have a look which side the diff lock is, because really we want to be pulling the half shaft opposite the diff lock. Right, let's have a look. Let's see if I guess it's right. Here we have it. This is uh, the diff lock on the near side of this vehicle, so we'll be pulling the offside as I thought. Here we go, it's a brake chamber in the pipes and whatever, and the prop shaft. And you say, while we're disconnecting this half shaft, this prop shaft won't move. And that's the idea of disconnecting the drive. So we've got no movement in that gearbox up there. This prop shaft won't turn once we uh, disconnect, disconnect the half shaft, pull that out. You just say, if you did take the prop shaft off, you've got all these pipes here, you would have to try and strap it up, which would be probably near impossible really. Wherever you strapped it here, it would probably end up chaffing some pipes. So half shaft's the, the better option really on this vehicle, definitely. Other than that, you, you would have to, it actually has got a sleeve. You could actually remove this prop shaft, but you would need to mark it if you did want to do that. But you just say it's quite heavy prop shaft uh, to refit the other end. So we're doing the half shaft. Right. So when it's set up, we can uh, get that back suspension up a little bit. Looks a little bit low. Right, let's see if we can shoot around here without causing anybody any problems. Get this half shaft out. Yeah, fuel tank at the back. That's another uh, thing, though. It's another vulnerable bit of the back of the vehicle. Are coming off nice. Normally, you have to give them a bit of a bang with a sledgehammer. But... It's not that many miles at all, but this vehicle hasn't the way it looks. So, if it has been in Spain, so you've got the good climate there, so there's no rust been getting round. Collars off. All right, so we're going to need three collars to put this cap back in. Three bolts. There we go. Got three and three, are we? Yeah. All right. Oh, set one there. All right, let's put the off. 
off the way. A few people walking around the that side. I'll come around here and hide for a minute. They're going the other way. That's good. I can come around this way now. Right, let's put the cover back. I think there's a smoking shelter around there or something. All right, okay, this is the cover back. Stops any oil uh, escaping and muck getting in the shaft. I'm just gonna put three bolts to hold the cover. first this is what you don't want to lose these little uh, little collars which you drop there and they fly all, uh, all over the place all over the place should we say right there we go it's back in the pot Might be trying to get out the truck behind us, actually. Let's keep out everybody's way over here. Right. Okay. There's a couple of air tanks on the near side that they'll be plugging into, so it'll keep the brakes off. The suspension up, hopefully. But you see, I'm gonna need to set it up a bit before we go. So not on the front, but on the rear. I don't wanna adjust the front suspension. Just say we've got chains on there. Yeah, I think we go a little bit more. Oh, sure. okay. Do the windows up because of the rain. Basically, we're just looking to steer in, and to say the actual steer axle will just follow. Right, okay. See, so we've got enough air for us to put a little bit on the back. It's a remote button for the suspension. See if we can get anything on the back. Little lights flashing on there. go a little bit more let's have a look yeah we've got quite a bit of clearance here as you say we've got a fuel tank the other side but it's giving it a lot loads more so it's a pretty solid old truck you say yeah uh, quite what these lights are doing all right okay do us here. We've locked the steering straight. But you say yeah, the rear, but don't take the handbrake off, it will help when it won't roll our voice. Just do it nice and steady till it settles. Right. Yeah, so this vehicle has got a brake issue. So that's why I'm picking up from Volvos and they thought and they've uh, sorted that out. Done a brake test on it, but the problems are 
other problems is to do with the body perhaps it's to do with the legs that are causing it to have problems let's keep it over his way a little bit so we've got enough air in it even me dropping this pumping the suspension up to move it in So we get the boom ride in on this. Plenty of clearance with that. Right. You see these are the air tanks on here. Little test point at the bottom. So it's got air in it now, but the time I get it to the destination, it might lose air. So I think the brake's coming on. Here. Little bungee ties to make it a bit neat. All right, just fill all this round the front. All right, just tighten it up now. with a little uh, bungee tight, a little elasticated. There we go, over the top. Yeah, yeah it's got it's like two pipes holding on the front, so the, so it's got part brake that probably holds on all axles on this, I would have thought. Right, and I think that's what it tells you what it does. Disable to the aeroplane. I won't uh, unlock it as you've got the keys. I haven't got the key for that anyway to show you inside, but you might be able to see a little bit from outside yet. Yeah, it's all uh, more in Spanish. Yeah, it's just quite a weighty vehicle, this. Right. going to quickly check the back lights trailer boards working all right there we go we've got the on tow sign so he's got tail lift at the back as well big fuel tank big stabilizing legs four on here right Let's get it back to Heathrow and see what they can make of it. It's setting off now. I've popped the side lights on the vehicle. Uh, just done a quick last minute check to uh, hopefully make it a bit more visible. So it's quite a long vehicle now. Hopefully they're going to open the gate for us. No. Maybe you've got to press the button. Let's wet the top fly beacons on because you say this is going to be a little bit tight. Try and remember to slow me head movements because a few people say I make my bit dizzy, so we don't want that. But it's a little bit hard to move your head slow when you're double checking the mirrors. So we're just following the back end round now, so we've got plenty of clearance just putting up the, the back ends. 
here we are and this is where I put the beacons on I thought this was a bit of a chaotic coming up here earlier everybody's coming back interesting there's nothing behind us Just gonna reverse back a little bit. So there are a couple of trucks through. Fortunately we're we're on a bit of a bend here. I think they'll be all be going to the left so I think they'll probably get round us before I come in a little bit I said this will be a bit interesting clearly the lights must can't be working or they've held uh, some people up let's come over here for a little bit and let's tip around the lights must have failed let's see if we can uh, saying it's red so this is the road out to uh, towards the M4 to do major construction work they say they don't give us a lot of favours really how much room they've left us with them barriers but so that's the beauty of the rear steer really it will help us really to so say if it was a double drive on the back it might be a little bit is he doing it? right he's waving us on now all right i hope you're all right my friend the lights are just turned green now anyway here we go got through the chicane Spit this down half a gear. I'll tell you, nice and steady through here. Yeah. We've just got that tight left hand turn at the back. what they're doing here oh look at that <laughs> that looks a bit of a tight angle there all I can do is get over as hard as I can to the right Move a little bit over here. There we go. There we go, it went too bad. Watching the back come round now. I went so bad after all. There's a big industrial units uh, being built to me right, but it's quite a, still a quite tight turn off for traffic lights. So it's a bit of a giveaway where we are. We say if everybody's got to come through them gates, I don't know how they're going to get. This little section of parked cars. So they tend to park right along here by the traffic lights. I 
as you say you end up being to the right of the road to make the left hand turn it's Mercedes parked on the end imagine that you've got Arctic's coming in both ways cars parked on the left I think they're gonna have to stop parking there so I've still got my top beacons on I'll probably leave them on for a little bit around this uh, series of roundabouts going now no we're still there don't know where he was going in the car So we're going right the roundabout and I'd probably try and straddle a couple of lanes really. Don't want to get anybody tied up with that rear steer when it comes round. So there's a lot of overhang on there on this vehicle towing. Friday night traffic. Let's have a little peer back and uh, oh, take the seatbelt off. Try and see if I can show you how far she lies back. So she'll quite happily pull away in a second gear this. So it is quite a weighty vehicle. So 26 tonnes would be the maximum weight it would uh, be able to travel with. So there's no uh, weight at all on the side of this, but you see it does feel pretty heavy. little section here where you've got three lanes going to two so it's always uh, congested we've got the inside lane here so drops back a little bit he's coming there we go getting to the right lane I wouldn't try and come alongside this yeah we've got a couple of roundabouts to get across with the rush hour and uh, on to 8.30 then uh, to uh, say the Heathrow maintenance depot. So if I've over checked all the brakes and that and given it a brake test so it's uh, so it's not on that side so the, the fault they're experiencing must be on the body side.
the gold cranes there. take two out of here a little bit even though going straight on so move over a little bit do anybody coming up the inside when I'm turning left if we've done enough to uh, block them from coming down the inside quite nicely actually too much of a problem mm. looks like he's got a problem oh he ain't got a problem up the windows a bit I'm getting a bit wet Let's see if we can keep it running safer stopping and starting Three lanes going to two. Hopefully, it might stop a bit when we get the other end because you say I've got to unload it, put the half shaft back in. So, it will actually move a little bit. So you've got a load of buzzers and warning lights flashing on so they can't be driven on the road till they sort that out. But at least now they know it's not a braking issue. There's probably so many sensors on this vehicle with the stabilising legs and whatever. Yeah. So maybe that could be the problem. But. Get away, I can't see much out there. Outside window. There we go. We're taking a little bit of two again. See if we can keep this rolling. Can we now white Mercedes? Alright, is our gap. Alright, that's it.
Yeah, you can definitely feel this uh, vehicle on the back when you tow one of these. Probably it's got a little bit more weight with all the rams behind the cab. You're lifting a little bit more, but even when I moved it out of a parking space and sort of been driving it to, 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 to out, out the out the yard a little bit so I load it you could actually feel it when you stopped kind of rocked a little bit yeah so we're going uh, right now at the traffic lights and that's uh, the A30 Just short shift to fourth. There we are, second to fourth. There we go, round we go. Yeah, company we're delivering it to has got a couple of uh, workshop. Uh, areas on the same road so I need to find out where they want it so I won't be able to obviously film uh, too much when I get to the other end perhaps I might be able to drop it outside in the road and uh, do a little bit of filming rather than commit and going into the yard up the seat but we don't need the, hazard, the beacons off now really now we're on to like a main road I thought I'd do a little bit of filming with this. Uh, there are quite a lot of comments. They actually like uh, watching the driving with the vehicles on the back. So uh, let's hopefully this comes up all right. Probably can't quite see it as easy as you can in Arctic going around the bends, but hopefully you might find it of interest. Yeah, basically we could be going to the right of the A30 but you've got, got to turn left and come back on yourself so so it's handy knowing the road lay a little bit so you can keep a little bit out to the the other lane before you commit into the turn hotel on the right it's all uh, cordoned off I think that's where the refugees and that have been housed in that hotel I believe see if I can have a look to it's a security guard sitting down there don't look like it's got normal uh, hotel uh, visitors in there not many cars and cordoned off so they've blackened out the the walls so I think that might be the hotel so unfortunately on these vehicles we have to use a trailer board but there's no actual socket that you can actually put in like a trailer and um, have the side lights as well so I'm using the side lights on the on the Volvo just got them turned on with my uh, trailer board with there obviously the brake lights and the indicators there we go I'll get a, bit, a little bit better view of it around here slightly turning around the steer axle just brings it around quite nice really but you say these axles are live all the time so towing forward there are uh, they're fine. Reversing sometimes if you get a little bit of a lock on to get into a bay 
uh, obviously the wheels turned quite a lot at the back and when you want to start strain it up it still keeps turning so you might have to jump forward a little bit to get the whole lot straight then come back again particularly on the iconic dust carts they tend to be a little bit flighty the rear steer axle on them the Dennis dust cart not too bad reversing I won the other day they're quite a uh, tight reverse into the yard and it come around quite nicely and it strained itself off but it's not always the case all right a little series of roundabouts here basically you want to go straight on so we're going to be a little bit slow getting away here yeah? we've got room there you think of these big mirrors you have to look the other side of the blind spot there we go really don't really realize it's on the back really the the length of it follows on pretty well and a few planes there to the left British Airways So right into, uh, into the heart of Heathrow maintenance uh, buildings and that now. And they do all the work on the trolleys and whatever, so. All right, let's have a left in this roundabout. down a little bit now you see a, another plane there looks like it's been pulled out As you, I'm sure you can hear the engines it's been picked up but anyway just to make this left turn turn here and uh, and that probably be be a bit of last bit of filming for a little bit until I work out where exactly I'm going Thanks very much for watching, watching so far. We're at the destination now. Uh, just popped in scene in reception. They said uh, if I could put the half shaft back in, which obviously I will, they're going to drive it into the yard and get it parked up and uh, have a look at it a bit later on. It might be a bit better view now. I can uh, hopefully see, uh, hopefully you'll be able to see a little bit more about this vehicle saying I've got to do reline them winch cables have just come off a winching job I've got to reline them and I use one cable on it so the back cable's fine just the front winch cable needs uh, needs relaying right okay let's crack on shall we so just going to do everything reverse really I'm going to leave the, the trailer board on to last because so I've got hazards on there let's leave the airline on well probably make a difference really let's get rid of the airline so we know it starts so there's not a problem with that taking it off nearly all the way otherwise you'll find it just blasts off and you've got to try and catch a snake then Yeah, a lot of people ask me about these little uh, bungees. You say, I, I got them off a scaffolder. 
and then obviously they use them to hold the, the sides of the poles and they're pretty handy really so you keep using cable ties and throwing them away so you can keep using them time and time again unfortunately there's no uh, place for these long Susie's so I'm just hanging them up with a bit of bungee does the job right let's get that half shaft back in I'll just show you how we refit the half shaft on these Volvos I'm going to tip me uh, bolts in the pot because what we do we need my remote as well to line it up I just find it a bit easier little on tow sign here See no oil on the wheels. So I wonder if thought this goes far actually, just, I mean, it must just run in round the airports. It's only a 250 engine, which is quite a small engine, but you say if you're only going up the airfield, we don't make much odds, is it? I'm not like going up any hills of it. Right. Alright, take that there. Take my remote as well. Oh. So you can take the other half shaft out if you want on the diff lock side, but you've got another row of splines to get back in. So it just makes it a bit simpler to pull the one opposite the diff lock mechanism. Right. these little collars <laughs> hardly any oil really would have come out on that so these are not roller bearings now these can be a little bit tricky to get back in so kind of two stages I'm trying to get it lined up and so you got to give it a good wiggle, wiggle that's it so it's gone so far and what I do rather than try and get a screwdriver or uh, to line it up, I just uh, extend the boom out, make sure we're okay, so it lines up, and hopefully isolate that. So just push that forward. There we go. So it's isolated. Look at that. I'll get a Whitney. I'm just going to do these up with a gun and uh, just go around with a bar. Let me advise them which half shaft we've uh, removed. And it's up to them then if they want to recheck it. It's a pretty straightforward uh, bread and butter job, as we say. I thought it was going to be a little bit tighter getting out there with them roadworks. Out of that state, not too bad after all. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. Uh, the videos in the comments I do try and uh, well I do look at all the comments actually and I do try and respond to uh, everyone I can obviously I kind of put it on YouTube uh, when somebody comments what vehicle it is or they work for the company obviously I kind of comment about that but um, if any sort of questions or anything like that I'm, you know, I'm pleased to answer
carry the most important thing around first. The remote. See, it's called Lister uh, trailer board, so it's just over a year old. They seem to be working all right, no problems with that. Considering how much I uh, use it every day, maybe four jobs a day. So it gets well used. Right. boring bit of the job really <laughs> putting it all back together so I probably uh, won't film any more so just gonna the bar just gonna go round the half shaft bolt but to say thanks very much for watching the channel and subscribing and uh, hopefully this video is uh, okay thanks a lot for watching